everyone so I'm going to be showing you how to get curls like this curly hair doll so um, you're probably gonna want to take off her shirt if if it's like hers where it'll the brush will snag it but if it's like Kanani's you don't need to take it off so what you'll need is a cape to cover her um, cloth body slash clothing or a shirt is what I use because I don't have a doll cape so I would just use my um, pajama shirt as a cape and then you'll need a, a misting bottle it just mists water something that's round I am using a lip gloss from Justice and I just use this part to curl their hair up on or you can use a sharpie the end of a sharpie you're gonna need your doll brush and then you'll need a alligator clip that's pretty big that can hold pretty much mostly if not all of their hair and I will see you guys in a few seconds on what to do next so you're just gonna take your mist mist in bottle and you're gonna spray her hair down you probably want to put her in like a cape thing I'm just gonna use my pajama shirt so if you have the curl set from American Girl you can use that too like the little cape thingy but if you don't you can just use a shirt or whatever to protect her skin slash cloth body from getting wet so you're just gonna spray her hair down and you're just going to gently brush their hair out. If you don't have lots of bobby pins you can use barrettes, um, whatever would attach to their hair that you haven't used in your hair. Okay, so now it's all brushed out. Um. You're going to take your thumbs and you're going to want kind of long fingernails. It's harder for me if I don't have fingernails. So you're just going to go behind her ear and just go across. Meet your fingers in the middle. So you're just going to lift up this hair. And you have a little section of hair. And what you're going to do with the top stuff is you're going to twist it up. The top of her head, I almost said hair, top of her head, clip it up there with your bigger clip. Now here's where your round thingy comes in for me. It's a lip gloss thing. Spray her down, her hair down some more. It might not be that wet underneath so you're not going to add more. And just, I usually like to section this off into two pieces. Now I'm going to show you what to do with your lip gloss thing and or sharpie. So you're going to wrap it around like this. I usually do it underneath because it's easier for me. So you're going to go like that, bring it around, and you're going to hold the ends there with your finger as you roll it up to her wig cap. Take out your round thingy. I'm just gonna call it lip gloss because I don't want to call it a round thingy anymore. Then you're gonna ha take a bobby pin or tail and you're gonna put it through like that so that it holds holds the curl there as you can see. It's like that. I find this method better than um, just spraying her hair down with water and just finger curling it because you get more volume in them. I'll go ahead and show you this again. So you take your section of hair, put your lip gloss underneath, hold it there with your thumb, and you're going to bring the bottom up and over. You're going to hold the ends there with your finger and just roll it up to the top of her head.
head. And then take a bobby pin or two. Depends on the size of the pin curl that you're working with. Usually if it's bigger, I use two. If it's smaller like these, I just use one. And then what I do is just undo the top part of her hair, section it off, like right above her ear, about right here, on both sides, and then meet your thumbs in the middle. Like so, and you can add, subtract hair if you have to. And then the top part can get really messy, so be careful when brushing it later on. And just re-clip this on top. You can do thicker sections too. Or thinner, it doesn't really matter, whatever you prefer. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm showing you what I do. Brush their hair out. If you don't know how to brush your doll's hair, um, I have a video on that and or how to keep it shiny. But yeah, you don't have to watch that if you don't want to. I'm not going to force you. Okay. So I'll show you this one last time and then I'm going to do her entire head. So you take your um, lip gloss, put it underneath, and make sure the curl's facing this way and not upwards like this. Goes down like that and practically goes over the lip gloss itself, wraps around, I mean, roll it up to the top, and bobby pin it. So I'm just going to do the rest of her head and I will see you guys when I am done. Okay, I know I'm not done, but I just let down her hair, and now I'm just going to do <clears throat> the section. Um, so you just part her, well, yeah, start up here, and then bring it down. And since this piece is a little fat, you can split it into two um, different sections to do it that way. You can just do it as one. I'll be right back after I'm done. Okay, so now that you pin curled her entire head of hair, so what you're going to do now is you're going to take your shirt or cape or whatever you're using to do this. So you're going to cover her face and her body with your cape slash shirt. Um, and you're just going to take your spray bottle and you're just going to spray generously around her head with some water. And there you go. So now you can put her clothing back on. Mine is topless, clearly. Um, so I'm going to leave them in for two days. So that brings us to Thursday after I get home from school. So I'll show you the results. If you want them super, super tight, you'd leave them in longer. If you want them loose, you could leave them in for an hour or two or maybe even a day. See ya. Hello, everyone. So it's Thursday after school, and I'm going to be taking Allie's um, pin curls out. I remove the bottom ones first right here, and then I go up to the top, if that makes sense. So keep your bobby pin container or something you put them in nearby. So you can put them in there. So you just slide the bobby pins out. And you can either let it fall by itself or you can just grab it and twist it with your finger. And you'll end up with something that looks like that. And you can keep doing them to all of the curls until you're all finished. So I'm going to do that to her entire head and I'll be right back. 
Okay, so here she is with her hair all pretty. And I put a little brat in her hair to keep this little section out of her face. And then there's the back. Do a little 360 view here. And I do this with all of my curly hair dolls. I do it with Kanani, Sage, and Allie, which I just demonstrated for this video. I hope you guys enjoy, and I hope you get big, luscious curls like this. And if you try this method, be sure to share with me on Instagram at agwebkins or just PM me a video or a picture or something. So, a little photo shoot of your doll. So yeah, I hope you guys comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.